welcome to the Mail TV channel. Uh, this is Sai, and today we're going to talk about a very important topic: how to troubleshoot Azure pipeline pipelines issues. Okay. So in our previous videos, we already learned um, Azure DevOps basics, pipelines, step by step, secure DevOps. So if not, please check my previous videos on the playlist for specific to Azure DevOps basics, pipelines, configuration step by step, and how to secure the whole Azure DevOps. Okay. Now let's clearly let's clearly understand um, what what are the common uh, issues that uh, you will be facing. You know when you create a Azure pipelines. Okay. So in this video we're going to cover um, a general Troubleshooting guidance, okay, which you can apply on various uh, Azure pipeline issues, troubleshooting them, okay. Now the first issue I'm gonna very common issue is pipeline won't trigger. This is what you will see. So if a pipeline doesn't start at all, okay, you need to understand, you know, what are the dependencies for this pipeline, okay? One is YAML settings. The second one is Pull request settings. The other one is scheduled triggers. The next one is the agents. Okay, so you need to understand these various components okay because if you have any issues with the yaml file if you have any issues with the pull request if you have any issues with schedule trigger or if the agent is not available then the pipeline won't trigger okay now so you need to check all these things And let's understand how to check these YAML settings. For example, uh, all you need to do is you need to quickly uh, log on to the uh, your uh, DevOps project. Go to the pipeline settings. Okay, under the pipeline settings, you just go to that. Uh, pipeline dot yaml file and click on triggers and select you know there is an option that checkbox right there's there's a checkbox like you know uh, overwrite um, sorry overwrite okay override uh, settings so you need to check all these things this is the first one the second very common issue is
pipeline Q Q but never gets an agent to trigger the pipeline okay in this case all you need to check is job limits uh, in this case uh, it's going to be parallel jobs step 2 you know access issues access issues or any errors that is throwing step 3 you know um, concurrency step 4 waiting for approval step 5 agents availability step 6 DevOps service status. Okay, so these are all the various settings you will check whenever you see a pipeline is queued. Okay, because why I said uh, the parallel jobs limit? Because um, every project will have a parallel job settings configured okay so depends upon what 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 kind of a uh, you know a agent we are using it is a unlimited or any specific number is defined right so one second let me So in order to check that you need to just go to the uh, uh, project settings your under the project settings uh, just scroll down and click on the you know same uh, pipeline and under you will see uh, something called as a parallel jobs parallel jobs click on parallel jobs and see whether you're using a free free attire or you, you you purchased any parallel job license for that okay if not you need to increase that the next thing is cannot access access issues so normally what happens is you know normally um, let me just clean this up guys so that so normally what happens so we will use a, a key vault to store all our um, you know access related um, approval uh, keys so make sure that this is you have the uh, firewall or the uh, the agent IP address is not getting blocked these are only two things you need to check under the access issues make sure that you have the key vault access and uh, the agent IP address is is you know your firewall is not blocking it okay now the other thing is about the the concurrency okay so what do you mean by uh, the concurrency or don't have enough concurrency the same thing the same thing is it goes to here 
make sure that there is your parallel jobs are not limited okay and the next thing is waiting for the approval so make sure that all you know uh, the jobs because you will be if it is like you know build or release whatever the stages is you will definitely configure the approval process settings right that one you can you can simply go to the uh, uh, navigate to the approval and checks for that particular resource and modify the uh, uh, the, the settings there same under the azure devops project only now the la now the other thing is about the uh, agents availability make sure that the agent pool again i need to clear a few things here because make sure that check under the agent pool okay um, whether the ideal status is enabled or not okay whether the agents are online offline So this is what you will check right now the other thing the last one is the devops service status you need to check the devops service status portal okay, there is a separate uh, portal to see whether the um, the status uh, is from the Azure point of view, okay? And uh, I will give you the the URL for that, guys. And I'll also will also quickly log on there. So it is called status dot dev dot azure dot com. Yeah, quickly I'll just um, open the Explorer for you guys and uh, it's a status dot dev dot azure dot com. So this portal will show you all the service health across all the geographic of the azure services make sure that whichever you region so the core services or any services are online or offline okay now let's go back here so that is the last one you will check so this is for the second uh, issue so i'll quickly go back to the uh, a quick recap how to troubleshoot Azure Pipeline issues, a general troubleshooting guide. The first one is we talked about why the uh, pipeline won't trigger. The second issue we discussed about the pipeline will be in queued state. Now the third issue, very common issue is pipeline job fails so when pipeline jobs fails what you will do the first thing you need to check whether it got timeout issues timeout uh, uh, errors the second thing you will check 
issues with downloading any code. The third one is failing to execute any command. The fourth step is file and folder access issues. The fifth one is any MS build failures. The sixth one is process stop response errors. Next one is service connection issues. Okay. So these are various, uh, you know, our troubleshooting areas. If a pipeline job fails, this is the, uh, this is how I will go for the uh, logical troubleshooting guys. When we say about a, a timeout, okay, a pipeline may run for a longer time, right? Okay. Then fail due to a job timeout. The job timeout depends upon the agent being used. Because free Microsoft uh, agents, their maximum time of uh, out of, you know, for example, like 60 minutes. Or it can go up to like 360 minutes. To increase the maximum time out, you can opt for, you know, uh, you can buy a Microsoft uh, hosted agent. Or if it is job is very big. Okay. So that is what it is because if if your job is running more than like one hour or you it's a huge job then please check the uh, the configuration of the uh, the agent the second thing is issues with downloading code sometimes the pipeline will need to connect to the github to download some code okay maybe it's failing at the checkout step maybe it's 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 an issues with the the version uh, uh, issues so you need to understand while downloading what commands are using it you're using fetch right or uh, is it failing on any particular uh, build uh, in the repository all these issues or sometimes it's, it will say that hey could not find a project that corresponds to the repository so make sure that files are available and you have enough uh, permissions and everything Okay, maybe sometimes you might be using uh, a proxy. So make sure that the proxy do have access to this, uh, all these things. Okay. And the next thing is, uh, you know, the same thing, uh, executing a command. So when you're trying to run few commands in your pipeline bill, in your YAML, uh, similarly accessing repos, accessing repos, build, download, all those things, make sure that uh, you have proper uh, command it, it's all these dependencies. Now, file and folder access issues. So, um, file layout. So, sometimes what happens is, you know, we, we will use some temporary location and after that, the temporary location is not available. So, make sure that you're not using any temp locations to download and access the files. Don't use. And make sure that you're always using the latest uh, images, latest files, updated files in your path. And the path should be accessible always, right? The directory or the path you're you're mentioning, you should have. Make sure you have all permissions, uh, uh, re not reader, contributor, or the uh, full admin rights. If it is a Linux, then make sure that you have ch mode uh, 777, all that, right? And the next thing is MS build uh, failures. So this is 
normally what happens is in this ms build you will invoke commands to pass the argument right so in that case you know you need to make sure that the 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 build the ms build can can execute those commands so sometimes you need to understand whether you're you're uh, passing the right parameters or arguments so it's a par parameters related issue make sure that you have all parameters double checked sometimes you need to also make sure that you have the, uh, the the cpu count or the processes make enough uh, resources to execute all those commands the next thing is process stop response yes because everything you run so in the back end uh, a process will be uh, triggered and the process will execute all these things right the, your pipeline job so you need to make sure that if process is hung or something is going on then you need to make sure that you have the process dump captured and evaluated or it may be waiting for some sort of input you need to understand those details okay and the next thing is service uh, connection issues um, for example you want to access a storage account or maybe enable enable storage explorer right so this is service connection is nothing but because you're trying to implement some uh, let's say for example some arm templates or some json files or some powershell scripts right so make sure that your project under the project settings you have something called a service connections you need to define that service connection in your project settings so that you will not face any sort of issues if you're using arm template make sure you have a arm resource manager connection is configured under your project settings okay similarly for any other like it can be terraform it can be azure repos or whatever it is the service connection so this is how you will uh, check all those things to fix this pipeline job fails so guys this is uh, the generalized troubleshooting for the three known issues okay one is pipeline won't trigger the second issue is pipeline queued the third issue is pipeline job fails so i hope uh, you you like this video and the detailed part and if you have any questions please use the uh, the comment section um, uh, and you can always uh, uh, you know ask any questions you want uh, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more, for more videos. Thank you so much and have a nice day.